Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily. I am a nursing student. I'm currently enrolled in RN BSN Accelerated Program. So in case you guys don't know what that means, um, that means it's a nursing program on steroids, basically. <laughs> so our weeks are basically 10 weeks. So but we only go for nine for the 10 week. It basically counts like a mini vacation since we don't stop school. I've been in school forever now. <laughs> That's how it feels. But I'm a junior now. So I do want to let you guys know what I take with me to clinical, what's important to me, what I must have. So first of all, I must have my agenda. The agenda is very essential because I do have clinical homework and apart from my lecture classes, it's very important for me to do that before the due date. Before And our due date is before the next clinical, obviously. So I do want to tell you guys where I got this from. I got it from Target. I've actually been looking through another, um, been looking for it. But it seems like she doesn't sell this kind anymore. But I just want to let you guys know that it's, it's something that I use daily to remind me of what I have. Um, what I need to do, when's our exams, you know, I keep my syllabuses in here because I need to constantly look at what chapters I need to read. But yeah, that's very, very important to me. Second of all, I do have my clipboard and it's actually has a cheat sheet and I got this from Amazon and it comes in, I believe, purple, blue, white, maybe black, I'm not sure, but I'll put the links um, on the bottom. So you guys can go check it out see if you like it it does cost about i believe it was like 25 or 30 dollars i'm not sure i think it was like 30 dollars plus tax but i think it's very useful um i put my med sheets in here what meds i need to give in here so that way it remains private so you know you hook it on here for my ring light guys you hook it on here and then you just close it and put it in your scrub top or just carry it around whatever you choose but it does have like injection sites, pupil size, AVG, normal values, um, tests like CBC, Chem 7. It also has um, information regarding sepsis in case your patient is at risk for sepsis. It tells you what you should look at, what is significant in temperature and all that stuff. So here you guys look. And then here is I think it's really cool and I think it's important to carry a clipboard and no matter if you're in CNA, LPN, RN, MA, um, NP, I think this is very useful. You know, it's just a little cheat sheet to help you out when you constantly are on other patients and need a guidance. Um, second of all, I have my stethoscope and this is actually provided through the school. I actually want to purchase a Litman. I just don't know what kind of Litman. There's so many out there that I don't know how and what to choose, especially when it comes to like the bell and the diaphragm. They have like different, I don't know. I just was reading through, through the descriptions and some are very pricey. And if you guys have Litman, let me know which one you guys have, which one is helpful for you guys and what the difference is. Like, you know, I can hear through this, but not everybody can hear through it. Um, they say Litman, you can hear so much better, especially when you listen to um, your S1 and S2s and your heart murmurs. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah, definitely let your girl know. Fourth of all, and I think this is, I just purchased this from Amazon. I normally get all my stuff from Amazon. It's actually a case of where I put my stethoscope my pen light, my marker, my Sharpie, and my ID badge. And it comes, I believe, in purple, blue, and white, I believe. I don't, I'm not sure, but um, I definitely will put the link for this one in case you guys are interested. So if you don't take um, the clinical bag and you, you know, go, you're a nurse or um, work in the medical field you use the backpack you could literally just hook it on it has like this little hook at the end it's actually really cool let me go I'll open it for you guys so here is how it's designed so the only thing I 
don't like about this, which I'm gonna be honest, is you see how my pants are just hanging from here? And then there's just this pocket. Like, why is it upside down? And this is what I'm having constantly problem with because my scissors are always here and when I open it up, it just falls off. Because it's backwards. And first, you flip it. Hang on, I'm struggling here. First you flip it, it's okay because my stethoscope goes right in here and then anything, I don't put anything in here actually, but you can. So it's like weird, was it supposed to be here or what is meant to be here? I don't know what, because everything's just gonna fall off. You see if I, everything's just gonna go. I don't know. So yeah, that's definitely helpful. Um, da -da 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 -da. Next thing I have is my clinical bag. So this is obviously very, very useful because this is where all my stuff goes. This is actually provided for my school. Um, the S signifies the first name of, the first letter of my school name. And um, of course, we'll have to pay back through tuition. And then I always carry snacks in there, um, cliff bars, some gummy bears, <laughs> and obviously water because you always have to stay hydrated, especially if you're doing 10, 12, 13 hour shifts. It's very important or else you're just gonna pass out in the middle of your patient. You're gonna be the patient. So um, I'm actually in an oncology unit this term. I was in an orthopedic surgery unit last term. It's very different um, versus what I've had, but I'm definitely learning a lot. I've been paired with really great nurses in oncology unit, very passionate nurses very skilled they actually teach you a lot I have seen things that I've never seen before and learned things that I wouldn't learn on a clinical no in a lecture setting you know you would you learn it through your lecture setting but it's different from the clinical aspect you're like oh this is what this really means or this is the anatomy and physiology of all this disease you know um, yeah, it's been quite of an experience and actually going into OB next term, which is next month, October. So I will be in the labor and delivery in one of my local hospitals, literally 10 minutes away from me versus where I am now. It's 45 minutes and our clinical start at 630, which means I have to be up by 430. No. Yeah. I'm up by four o'clock and I have to leave by 4.30. So it's been very rough. <laughs> and my daughter just started kindergarten, so I have no days off, you know? And if you have kids, you understand what I'm saying. And if you don't, if you have a dog, your dog mom or cat mom, it's hard. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys have any more questions, um, what I should talk to you guys about, let me know in the comments what you guys wanna know, or if you guys have tools like what kind of bags clinical bags you use to go to your clinicals or what kind of stethoscope you guys use let me know so i can actually go ahead and let everybody else know so it can save us some bucks so yeah stay tuned for one of my next videos i'm actually going to take you guys to clinicals thank you for watching